oil burner update. So I did a few modifications to this thing to make it work that much better. So I'll just start with the intake. I've got a lot going on here with pipes going all over the place. So we'll start here. Okay, I'll just use my light here. That right there that I'm tapping on, that's a five inch intake pipe that has intake air coming from outside. On the inside of that five inch pipe is the exhaust pipe, which is four inch. So I'm pulling cool air across my exhaust pipe that's going, that's coming out of this uh, heat exchanger that I have on my oil burner. But intake air comes through here, pulls past the exhaust pipe, stripping heat off the exhaust down that pipe right there, and then down here again, and then down this way. And I'm pulling heat off the exhaust, and it goes into another heat exchanger right there, which is basically an intercooler off of a car, that right there. It's an intercooler off of an Eagle Talon, actually. And I needed it to strip heat off of there because it was melting the fan that's pulling the air from the outside into the shop. That's the fan right there that's pulling the air from outside. So I had to put the heat exchanger there to pull the heat off of the intake air coming in so it wouldn't melt the fan. Now it works perfect. I've got warm air that's fresh air from outside. So that gives me my fresh air intake from outside. Okay, so we'll go over to the charge side of this thing. You see this black pipe right there? I got it going to a heat shroud over there where I do some of my welding. And that's the intake air that goes into the oil burner. It goes into this box and inside this box I've put, uh, it's powered by a shop vac or right now a vacuum cleaner. And I've insulated it to keep the noise down. I'll just pull this up and I'll show you. I got a couple of insulation panels there. Hang on. Oh, hang on. There's my shop vac and it pulls intake air through that hole right there that comes into that pipe. And the shop vac breathes inside of this box and then it pushes its charged air through the box. So I'll just put this insulation back. That insulation just keeps it quiet in the shop because the vacuum cleaner is loud. So anyway, it comes out of the box right there and it goes up this charge pipe right here. And then I've got it going through a heat exchanger where the exhaust is going through. They call it like a rocket stove attachment. And then I got it looping around the top. And then it comes back down through the heat exchanger to this flex pipe so that I'm able to remove this pipe whenever I want to. And that's the charge pipe that goes inside the oil burner unit. I'll turn this light off. It's running right now. I'll show you how hot this barrel is. That's the barrel on low. So I'm on low right now and I'm getting a little bit warm. And I'll show you the burn that's going on inside of the chamber there. Just pull my lid off. Let's see if I can do this without melting my camera. So that's the, the flame that's happening down in there. That is really hot coming out of there. Okay, so you got a good look in there. And the camera's not picking it up, but there is blue flame in that. It's just really bright orange at the bottom right now. This waste oil that I'm burning is, uh, must have some diesel fuel mixed in with it or something. It seems to be burning hotter than normal for the air setting I have it on. So this is the reservoir. So I've got a little drip thing happen in there to keep this reservoir at a certain level. And uh, this is a five gallon pail that I've got it draining into and it goes into that screen there and catches some of the grosser particulates and when that plugs up I just clean that screen and uh, that reservoir stays at about that level and then I've got that comes out of the pipe in the bottom there and it goes into the bottom feed right into the bottom there so in theory whatever the level is on on this here it should be the level in there in theory but I have the pipe extended up inside the burn chamber a little bit above the floor of the bottom of the burn chamber so that I can actually have this level a little higher and heat when it gets hot actually makes oil come up the pipe and out through uh, convection and then I get a little bit of squirting going on in there and then you can see how hot this barrel is and it sips on oil all day long I usually use about a five gallon pail of oil 
So that's my that's my heat exchanger. That's my oil burner unit, and that's how it works right now. I found that preheating preheating the air that goes into the oil burner unit actually helps the burn better, and I can pull the I can pull the forced air volume down quite a bit, and I can get that flame all the way down to a, a little tiny burn so that I can kind of regulate the heat in here that way and I'm doing that with this little controller here I can turn that all the way down it's on a potentiometer I'll show you I'll just turn that up and you can see that's full air I'm always running the thing on low because I really don't need any more than low air I had a better potentiometer before where I could pull the fan down or the, the vacuum down even more but it burnt out and I ended up using this one. I think this one's good for 15 amps so it's more than more than plentiful and it seems to be holding up just fine. And I have this other little fan here pushing cool air from the floor towards that uh, towards the bottom of my heat shield there. And I put a heat shield around it just to keep the radiant heat off the wall and off the bricks and everything and I also found that the heat shield around the barrel actually creates a convection through the shop so it pulls the cool air off of the floor and then it ri heat rises so it, it makes a it makes an air current between the heat shield and the, and the barrel and then I've get a current of air so the hot air goes you know to the ceiling and then it circulates around the shop and then the cool air comes in from the bottom and then I get a cycle of air it actually makes the shop pretty even warm all over the place because it is circulating air. And uh, I'll just show you here quick uh, what my temperature is in the shop right now. I think it's minus 20 outside right now. Minus 20 Celsius. And we are at, geez, that's got to be like plus 38. Uh, almost plus 37 degrees C. So that's my oil burner unit. Um, Hit like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Uh, I don't just talk about oil burners. I did some stuff on my wood stove. I'm an automotive tech by trade and sometimes I do some repair videos. Uh, I also am a car guy and I have a 94 Toyota Supra and I do videos on that too occasionally. And I'm into performance stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to show you my shop heater that uses waste oil. So I want to show you the oil burner exhaust. Uh, how clean it burns uh, when it comes out of the building. But first, I'll show you the, the flame. There's my flame. Ooh, it's hot. Almost burn you hot. So, this is the exhaust that I have coming out of my oil burner. And there is literally no smoke. I, I'm sure you can see the heat waves there in the video. No smoke, it's totally clean, burns totally clean, and I want to show you the intake here. This right here is the intake air, uh, pulls past the exhaust pipe, and I showed you how that works on the inside there earlier in the video. So it's just a 5 inch pipe over top of a 4 inch pipe. The five inch pipe pulls fresh air over top of the exhaust pipe, stripping heat off of it. And it keeps the heat off of this particle wood here. And I've been running this like this for years now. It's probably been five years since I've been running this oil burner, maybe more. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.